What's going on guys? I'm really excited to be back here today because modified the Scorpion Evo again. You saw before, I did the HB Industries overhaul and since it is a registered SBR, I wanted to take the suppressor and tuck it inside the carbine length handguard, which I did. Came out awesome. Love it. But I decided I'm going to go back to HB Industries. I'm going to get the small K handguard to pair it up with the K barrel I got with them and just sort of just for the option switch it up and if you follow me on Instagram you've already seen the pictures but here it is I mean look at this and I always wondered what it was about this gun that felt so good and in this form factor I know what it is now it feels almost identical not not exactly but very close to the MP5K, and you know that I love that gun. I mean, in this form factor, basically all the ergonomics are the same. The grip angle is almost the same. The grip is a little bigger, but everything else, it just feels so much like the K. I mean, and with the operation of this, it's not roller lock, obviously, but being a uh, similar operation with the charging handle uh, and just all that, it just, they're cousins. Like it or not, I'm calling them second cousins. So. Another thing you'll probably uh, recognize is I don't have uh, the iron sights on. I took those off when I had uh, the carbine length handguard on, uh, just because I think it looks cleaner. And I'm only running the, I'm running the red dot, so I really don't need them. And I'm not like, taking this thing into battle or anything, so uh, I really don't care if I have backup iron sights or not. Because if this goes dead or something happens, I'll just take it off, put something else on, or just stop shooting. You know, whatever. It's, it's not that big a deal to me, but. You know, with the, the big block um, factory sights this came with, especially on this size, it just it looks silly. I, I just don't like it. So it looks very clean, I think, uh, like this. That's how I'm going to keep it. Also, what we're looking at today is, you noticed in the video I did uh, featuring the K barrel, um, I had three failure to feeds jams uh, with that. Now. Uh, my theory was it was not the barrel, had anything to do with the barrel, it was new mags that I had for the Scorpion. So uh, we're going to look at that today and hopefully they're more broken in and I'm not going to have that issue. Uh, but one thing I did notice about that is the two mags that the gun came with, I, I numbered them, but the two mags that it came with, I don't know if I'm going to catch it, it just says, you know, CZ has a logo and it says 9 by 19 And then the ones I got aftermarket from CZ USA, say they're stamped and they say CZ USA. So maybe, I don't know, but maybe has something to do with the different mags. It should be the same, just stamped differently, but who knows? So we'll number them and we'll see which ones have any issues, if they have any issues at all. Uh, so we're gonna look at that also. But really, we're just here shooting this thing like this and just having some fun with it. I'm gonna make sure my red dot is still sighted in. It should be, even though it's in the K configuration, it's, it's the same thing, but I'm just going to make sure. Uh, so I'm going to do that first, and then we're going to shoot a little bit. Also, now that the K handguard is on, you, you can see it better uh, with the, the tri-lug adapter I put on. So that makes it stick out a little bit where the barrel would end right here. So that gives it a little length, but I want the tri-lug on for the suppressors and stuff so this is first shots first shots through the k handguard which doesn't mean anything but just first shots in this uh configuration here so uh let's do it going with the uh just standard cz mag first Maybe I didn't have this all the way sighted in the first time. Shooting low on the target. I'm at 25 yards, and I'm shooting probably about three, four inches low of, of center mass. So I'm gonna dial that in real quick, bring it up a little bit, and come back. All right, so I dialed her in a little bit more. I, I didn't shoot it yet, just uh, brought the sight up a little bit. Got the camera down on the target now, just for fun. Uh, the dot pretty much covers up the small circle target I drew on there. Uh, let's do it though. Ok, 
Give him up a little bit more. All right, so I'm just gonna sight her in, come back, we'll finish it off. All right, guys, we're probably good to go here at this point. Now that goes the target, blew that thing off. All right, guys, went through one mag. Happy to report, no jams, no failure to feeds or anything. And that was on the standard, I guess, factory CZ magazine. Now we got in the one from CZ USA or labeled CZ USA. So this time, we're just gonna just shoot them all fast, rapid fire, and uh, see if it jams. No problems there. Probably just those mags need to be broken in. So let's switch gears a little bit, throw the can on, do a little shooting with that. All right guys, so I got the rubber dummy set up down there again, about 25 yards away. I'm gonna do my attempt at some more dynamic shooting. This time we're gonna use the can. We're gonna put that on and uh, have a little fun. So let's do it. All right, guys, I mean, I enjoy doing that. That's fun for me. Uh, I really want to start do that, to do that more. Uh, you know, really practicing having your knees and your legs absorb the shock of moving, keeping your upper body on that sort of swivel, on a gimbal, if you will, See, trying to stay nice and flat, nice and straight. I didn't hit them all 30 times, uh, but I hit them a bunch. You know, and I'm moving around, I'm, I'm walking, I'm moving forward, I'm moving back, I'm moving to the side, running, stopping, shooting. Uh, there's still things I need to work on, though. I need to work on doing more of uh, using the safety transitionally. So uh, I'm not really thinking about so much right now because it's, it's still new to me. Um, when I'm transitioning from one spot to the other, if I'm not shooting, kicking that safety on, taking my finger, you know, completely off, and then I'm ready back down, hit the safety, or turn the safety off, and shoot. So it's more, I think that's more competition style shooting though. Uh, of course, it's gonna be good to uh, practice that just in general should the event uh, you ever need to, God forbid, you have to do something like this in real life. Um, but you know, I'm still learning. And as you, as you saw just there, no issues with uh, jamming of, uh, in the mags, no failure to feeds there. Again, and this was with the CZ USA mag. So uh, we're good with that. So there's one other thing I wanna show you about this. Got a little bonus treat here. All right guys, I wanted to show you really quick if I can, just how close in size the Evo is with the MP5K. Very close, I mean, they're so similar when you put them on top of each other, it's kind of hard to hold the camera and do this at the same time. Now obviously this Evo is a little thicker. The receiver and the, the handguard and everything are a little thicker. But, I mean, without that UMP stock on, if I had the standard choke stock on, uh, I mean, they, they're going to be next to, next to the same. I mean, try to get some more angles of this. But they are really close. I mean, it's it's awesome. I just wish, man, if I, full auto, man. Can you just imagine having these bad boys in full auto, just coming out to the range and just, brrr, I mean, just like in the, the classic like machine pistol with the fo the stocks folded. Awesome, dude. so awesome. So I think, I think what I'm gonna need to do is 
do a little dual wield here, kind of end it off. And stay tuned to the end of the video, I'll put a little blooper reel in uh, when I was shooting the CZ Evo. You'll notice that I only shot three mags off on camera, no failures. So I had no failures, all four mags, which is good. But always make sure your suppressor is locked on correctly before you shoot. Stay tuned for that. Little MP5K, little Scorpion Evo K action. Let's do it. <laughs> you just gotta love that, man. That's, that's awesome. I love these guns. I love them. Tell me, do yourself a favor. You're into this kind of platform, just do it. Don't even, don't even think twice. All right guys, so real quick, I just wanted to show you the bag that I was using for today. Uh, this is my old motorcycle book bag. You know, nothing fancy about it, but it's, it's decent quality. Um, and I was gonna actually get rid of it a few weeks ago, and I saw it, and I was like, you know what, I'll just throw some guns in this, take it to the range, and just to, just to further show how compact these guns are in K configuration, um, I bought, brought all this stuff down here in this bag with the mags and everything. Um, I still got plenty of room. I did take the optic off of this to, to ship it, or I mean to bring it with me just because it, um, I didn't want it to get all banged up since there's no cover on it or anything. But you could take the mags out if you wanted to and it would fit even better. But I still got plenty of room. I even put the, uh, put my headphones in there. So just something that shows you don't, underestimate you know a nice a nice book bag or, or a nice uh bag range bag or something to use as a range bag i had all my mags everything i brought with me was in here had all the mags uh down in here uh, i had the suppressor down in here i mean i just had everything i could fit in here down in there and i think i even had the, the optic in the in the side drink holder just to bring it with me because i didn't want to get all all rattled around in the bag. Quick shot with the mags out. You can see how these things lay in there perfectly opposite and flipped around of each other. I mean, telling you, that's a lot of firepower to hook up in one bag. Carry a whole lot of ammo. I mean, I had f five mags in here. Uh, so that's, you're looking at 150 rounds just right there uh, between, you know, this and, and the other one. So yeah, good to have a nice bag. I know what some of you guys are going to say. Dude, where's your eye pro? You got to wear your eye pro, man. Ooh. Okay, listen. I like to train, shoot without it because, God forbid, I actually have to shoot somebody in real life, in my house or wherever. I can't be like, hold on, guy. Let me grab my eye pro. Wait a minute. Or if I start shooting, a little burnt gunpowder residue, whatever in the air gets in my eye, I want to know what that feels like. Okay, use it as a training tool. So like when my eyes get a little burny or a little smoky, I'm not like, guy, I don't have my eye pro on. Wait, I can't see. My eyes are burning. Has somebody cutting an onion in here? Oh my God. So you're gonna say, oh, well, why aren't you training without your ear pro? <laughs> you're right. But that's a more direct threat to my, my life, my, my hearing. Every time I pull the trigger, boom, boom, boom hearing damage. So obviously I'm going to protect that. A little smoke in my eye, all right, for what I'm doing is, is fine. Thank you for your concern. I'm a big boy. I'll make my own choice on that. See you guys next time.